Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 18th, 2023. Well, we had another attempt to move up on Friday, but it was a little bit, um, price action was a little bit uncertain, a little bit of back and forth in there overall. So what does that mean for today? Well, first off, let's take a look at what happened overnight. We had Asian markets down, except almost across the board with only Korea, uh, South Korea showing a little bit of bullishness up 3.3 points um, on defense sector gains. Everything else in Asia was down last night. European markets this morning are down, except for the FTSE. The FTSE is up. 0.58 percent or 43 points this morning while everything else is looking lower after seven straight weeks of gains but not here in the united states here in the united states we're all buying all the time all three indexes moving higher we've got um, oil this morning looking to move up oil's pushing a little bit higher and then we have um bond prices here this morning bond prices here this morning are holding in there pretty good um, we've got the two-year bond at 4.42 percent the 10-year is at 3.91 percent continuing that inversion that's gone on for so long here in the market so what does all that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, one of the things I need to remind myself and everyone is let's shake off a little bit of bias and see if um, these charts can help us decide how we might want to approach the market for today. As you can see, the diamonds is looking for a gap up here this morning, and I would say with with all other markets around the world looking a little bit lower here this morning, that puts us as a pretty good candidate for a potential pop or a pop up in the morning and then a drop on the day. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but we do want to be paying attention as we continue to run seven straight weeks up here in the market. We are very overbought in the market and we'll want to watch that pretty closely on this gap up this morning. It is certainly possible it can continue to extend. You remember we're at all time highs here in the diamonds, so blue sky above here in the diamonds. But this uh, pop this morning, we might want to watch that because of the bearishness that we've seen around the world. That possibility that we could try to bait as many people into the market. Remember, you don't want to be the last one in um, to jump on the train here um, just in case it happens to uh, run into a wall and start pulling back. Let's take a look if the bulls continue to find that inspiration. Remember, there's blue sky above out here so anything is possible here to the upside and just keep in mind if the bears were to find some inspiration here today then looking for a little bit of support right in there on the chart breaking down through there i think would probably take us back into this area of price support that runs all the way over here that's that's that breakout resistance here in the chart so a um, little bit of pullback into there wouldn't be a big surprise and maybe holding on to this trend let's take a look at our spy now spy still got some work to do we uh, keep watching this and and watching for that opportunity that this could push on through to that um, next resistance high in the chart and the potential all-time high breakout so keep an eye on that as we've got spy continuing to bang its head against this resistance area in the chart we're pumping up here this morning so first thing is if we can continue to find bullishness here that push through that level and then maybe a push on up to test that next resistance level in the chart any kind of bearishness that shows up here <laughs> look for a little bit of push there's a little i mean the teeniest tiniest little support in that little 
um, sp uh, spinner right there as you can see um, maybe a little bit of support there and then if that were to fail then that possibility that we slip back to the lower side of this candle so watch carefully there and this is a nice support trend in there as well so um, not would not be a surprise if we um, end up doing something like that but we also can't rule out that possibility remember we're moving into that we're in that blackout period of corporate buybacks so don't be too surprised if this just kind of limber lingers along here goes sideways and it could do that either below or above this area just kind of lingering in here as volume um, starts to dry up here just a little bit with those corporate buybacks ending just watch that close and then of course our QQQ QQQ also just resting in here we did have um, a nice little bullish pop there on Friday kind of a bullish engulfing actually um, we got a hammer right here at the top which would be normally considered a hanging man but trying to follow through here to the upside you can see that um, nice little resting pattern in here um, if I pull this back you can see where that comes from that comes from all the way over here in uh, 2002 a little bit of support level there so pushing up through this area here of the chart if we can continue to find that bullishness in here maybe a press on up here and then the pop out to all-time highs here in the QQQ if the Bears find um, inspiration here today maybe a push back down I don't see you know there's a obviously this support here if we can hold here but if we were to fail back down through there I think we could maybe come as far down as testing uh, the low of that candle right there so watch carefully if that were to occur remember it's still very possible that we could just consolidate sideways and then of course our IWM IWM has really been trying to catch up here it has lagged so behind but the last uh, on Friday it, it came in with more of a bearish engulfing um, just kind of coming back here to test this downtrend break we broke this downtrend here in the chart trying to come back and maybe test that from this very extended position here parabolic position here you know there's no way you can look at that chart and not see um, the parabolicness of these moves in these indexes we're just right in here we just start going straight up so that rest in here is probably a healthy thing for the chart to do if the bulls were to find inspiration here however a push through up into here test that very substantial resistance level in the chart right across that level so we'll want to watch that and then pushing on through there we hit a even stronger position or resistance level in the chart any rest or pull back in here and remember we could kind of consolidate along here back to this upside trend if that doesn't occur look for a retest of this support down in here and if that were to fail then we have this gap that we could drop into here in IWM to um, maybe fill that and kind of slide out here toward our our trend and this next level of price resistance in the chart let's take a look at our VIX our VIX, and interestingly enough, even with the um, kind of insipid nature of the market on Friday, our VIX was showing just a little bit of concern. We continue to show that support in here, a little bit of worry maybe coming into the market that we are overextended. But remember, as I've said many times before, it's not going to matter unless we break this downtrend and then somewhere in here we hold some kind of a higher low that's when uh, fear really starts to come up in the market so watch that carefully if the bulls find inspiration here today well i would say a test down into this level and then if we were to break through there well, we'd probably be following down into the 10 handle area and a very, very complacent area of the market. Now, if we take a look at our T2122, that little bit of resting on Friday did us good. We actually pulled back here, 
um, in T2122. So that does give us that opportunity of a little bit of a pop to the upside as we continue to keep this very extended condition of the market going. So watch carefully for that. Um, there is that possibility if we can find that inspiration to push on higher here in the market. You also want to be watching for that possibility if we do pop in the morning that potential pop and drop because we've got such a huge opportunity to the downside here in the market we'll want to be watching carefully if profit takers begin i would look for that to move pretty quickly here in the market to the downside if we take a look at our uh, t2108 oops T2108 pulled back just a ever so slightly on Friday, um, showing some uh, maybe respect to some of this resistance up here in the chart. We may have a little bit further to go here, but we're reaching that extremely frothy area here in the market. I mean, really extremely frothy area of the market. So watch that carefully up here. Now, if we do find um, some bearishness, not to worry too much. There's quite a little bit of price support in here that we've created. Um, we don't have much price support in this recent move because it's just a straight up move but if we look across over here we've got plenty of price support levels if those bears were to push back here in the market our t2107 also is a bit on that extended side in the short term but there is absolutely no clue of um, sellers coming in here yet we do have that little bit of a turn down on friday and we could still push a bit higher here we could test up here into these mid 60 areas pretty easily in the chart if we can find that bullishness if the bears however do come back um, notice that we've got some really nice support levels here in the chart to potentially hold but that pullback could be a little bit um, harsh if those sellers start coming in and profit taking starts coming in uh, that move lower could be a little bit quick and maybe a bit steep and then our t2101 t2101 did show us that breadth continuing to improve on uh, Friday, which was interesting because of the back and forth nature of the market. But keep that in mind here, we did uh, move on up in breadth. Now remember, um, we're entering that blackout period and it's only gonna get stronger day after day after day. And then also remember, um, as we progress through the week, it, we shouldn't be too surprised to see volumes start to decline about midweek. Remember, Monday, next Monday is uh, Christmas and we'll probably see a lot of folks starting that travel um, about midweek. Thursday and Friday will likely be pretty darn crummy um, as everyone's heading out for the holiday. So just keep that in mind. We've got kind of a short week here to maybe get something done before volumes could decline. I'm not saying they will, but could. Then let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, um, today pretty light as you can see we've got housing market index here we've got a three and six month bond auction not much going on there but as we look across the week we start to pick up toward the end of the week which is interesting right when everyone's going to be taking off and and heading out we're going to be getting some of our more important reports we've got um, housing market or housing starts and permits here on tuesday we're going to start getting uh, that um, fed talk coming here as the fed comes out from under its blackout period here so kind of keep an eye on that treasury and international capital on Wednesday normal mortgage applications we've got consumer confidence in their existing home sales and a petroleum status report Thursday GDP jobless claims Philly Fed manufacturing natural gas will be in there and of course we've got these bond auctions here throughout the week to be paying attention to and then we've got durable goods orders personal incomes and outlays in um, home um, new home sales on Friday and that consumer sentiment number so watch that closely Thursday and Friday are probably our most important numbers of the week and that's when everyone's going to be 
kind of not paying attention and they'll be mostly into their holiday plans. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here for today and our earnings calendar guys we don't have much going on at all today and that's okay you know we're running out of the quarter we're running through this the last little bit um so hei is really the only notable for today uh to be paying attention to for their earnings report and let me check here i can check really quickly um, HEI is after the market closed today, so um, watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, also click that um, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. Remember, it doesn't have to be a long, lengthy, lengthy comment at all. Even an emoji counts as um, engagement with the video. And I also want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to share this video out on your social media feed. Um, I truly appreciate that. And if um, you um, feel so inclined, there is a link just below the title of the video that's called Buy Me a Coffee. You can buy me a coffee help support the channel thank you so much everyone who does do that just a huge shout out to you i humbled every day honestly honestly humbled every day let's take a look at the stocks that could be setting up and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security do your own due diligence be very very careful in this market and realize that a pullback could occur pretty much any time so make those decisions carefully let's take a look at um, our dollar here this morning this is really remarkable here UUP collapsing here this morning uh, now I don't know what's going on here and I don't know if this is just pre-market jitters and where we end up back up here but this is an absolute collapse coming in here to the dollar pushing us down here into a support level now we'll see if that holds uh, throughout the morning or if this is just some funky uh, pre-market prints here in the market but um, watch that closely now what I would expect if this is the actual um, a picture of this then I would look for commodity prices to zoom higher this morning so you'll want to be taking a look if that does hold you want to be taking a look at gold gold could really surge to the top side today silver might be in that mix of course we would see um, um, anything in the um, um, energy sector um, possibly natural gas possibly um, um, oil and gas um, sectors of the stock. Look for some of those oil and gas stocks to maybe move up. If you take a look at XLE in here, we've got an interesting little pattern here overall um, where we've broken out of that downtrend. If we can hold a higher low here, in that chart then i would look for that next opportunity to move on through to the upside and there are several stocks starting to come back up out of those you know really um heavily sold areas of the market and you probably heard even warren buffett picking up a uh, i think a 600 million addition to his position here on Occidental, pushing up into some price resistance, but let's watch this higher low in here possibility that could be moving on up. And remember, if we start seeing gas prices move higher again, that's gonna be a little bit of concern on the inflation side because it was only energy prices that really moved uh, much lower here to show us that inflation was backing off. So watch carefully in some of these. You could look in lots of places is ConocoPhillips, um, PSX. PSX has held up remarkably strong as oil and gas has been pulling back. So I keep an eye on PSX as well. Could have some nice upside opportunity. You might also want to look at um, some of the energies over here like CCJ, UEC, 
things like that that have been consolidating a little bit of volatility um, showing up here in this price action but if the dollar is going to fall like that that could be um, a remarkable move uh, to the upside in um, some commodities and we keep an eye on u.s steel here today uh, apparently there is an offer from japan to buy u.s steel um, remember u.s steel uh, declined a purchase from clf um, we'll see if um, they will accept this offer from japan big pop here this morning on that and that being said you can oftentimes see um, other steel continue uh, to find some inspiration when we have a big deal like that possible in the market take a look at stlz take a look at uh, cleveland cliffs uh, take a look at mt um, a lot of these stocks are getting that sympathetic move to the upside here um, as as um, um, they get that offer on U.S. Steel. Now, if we take a look at um, other places, take a look at Copper, FCX. Big old pop and drop showing here in the pre-market. I don't know. We might have some funky pre-market prints in here. So just be a little bit careful. Keep an eye on this this morning. But FCX um, gapping up here this morning into some resistance and then pulling back. Watch that closely. Um, again, anything in the metals mining uh, food commodities things like that could make a big move if that dollar is going to fall like that this morning um, alcoa made this straight up move any rest or pullback in these charts would set up that next opportunity um, in in those moves take a look at um, archer daniels archer daniels has been coming up in this chart a little bit of a pre-market pop and drop going on here but adm um, if it holds some support in here, look for that next opportunity to the upside. Um, take a look at stocks like Mosaic. They've been moving up here, um, ag-related stocks, and even uh, Moo making that move here out of the bottom, finding some um, support in here, and then look for that next opportunity to the upside. That being said, we should also be keeping an eye on some of these old boring companies like 3M, we're seeing that rotation here out of um, high flyer stocks into the more defensive sector area of the market. Take a look at 3M pushing up here strongly. Any rest or pullback um, would set up a, that next opportunity to the upside. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, that's a, I'm running out of time here this morning. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here and listening. I do truly appreciate it. Wish you a fantastic Monday and I will see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wishing you all the very, very best.